लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू कनेक्ट मॉन्गो डी बी विथ विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड सो फर्स्ट हेयर यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल द मॉन्गो डी बी सो हेयर आई ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल द मॉन्गो डी बी हेयर यू कैन सी प्रोग्राम फाइल्स इन साइड प्रोग्राम फाइल्स मॉन्गो डी बी सर्वर वर्जन पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फोर एंड दिस ऑल देयर एंड हेयर इफ आई ओपन द कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट so if i write here mongo so here you get uh, this terms mongo db cell version 4.46 so path has been uh, sorted you can see so let's uh, open the edit environment variable here you can see this is the mongo db server 4.4 bin so first uh, you need to install the mongo db and set the path after that let's open visual studio code so here visual studio code this is the terminal now if i write here mongo press enter here you can get uh, this detail mongo cell version 4.4 and uh, here mongo db enterprise now if you want to uh, check what exactly dbs are there so let's write here so dbs so this dbs are present adam admin now you can use any db so says to adam after that uh, when that all all connect now let's go there extension and this place you need to write mongo and here you can uh, see okay mongo mongo for vs you need to install this package mongo for vs click there mongo db for vs code so 157000 people downloaded this and uh, here it get uh, five stars so let's click on this install button so it install now when you install here there is a uh, one i can created the name with mongo db click on there so here click on there after that so here you can get local host and 27017 port and uh, mongo db here connected successfully connection successful after that here you can get list of or database adam admin and if i click on there here you can see emp so emp is the connection and uh, it has the this documents list of documents now there after when that uh, all uh, looking good there after here go to terminal not terminal here command palette and here you need to write mongo so it's uh, connected successfully now here you need to click on create mongo playground so there are so many things so you need to just select all and delete there after i'm going to execute some query so i already have the query so this is this query that display or uh, collection contents so let's copy and paste so here it's so uh, db emp emp is the document projection so here it display all the contents inside the query so write the query and thereafter click on yes here it's uh, running here you can get the playground result so i think okay let's uh, run once again
projection sort uh, and uh, okay one more thing I did not use the database EMP directly I'm using but uh, here I'm not using uh, so let's write here use and uh, here double bracket add a database now uh, after writing this so let's uh, select all and click on this run now here you can get uh, this uh, query result EMP number 7934 Miller and here this all list of records so if you click there so it's uh, displaying the records now here you can split this to 30 and uh, here you can split it into two parts four parts so i don't want to split in multiple parts after that to uh, using this query let's use another query so to get the highest uh, salary now here let's uh, remove this one paste so it will uh, display the uh, it will display the EMP collection according so EMP collection with salary sorting wise. So let's click on this run. Here you can uh, see this is the uh, here EMP number. Next is salary sixteen hundred. Next here you can get three thousand okay so it's uh, working correctly so here mongodb playground there you can write the query and you can see the result at this place okay so this is the way we can here connect mongodb with visual studio code so important package that required mongodb for vs code or when that when you install or uh, successfully after that you can write any kind of query and to check anything on the terminal you can just uh, click on the new terminal here write mongo and uh, thereafter use database atom and uh, i use this query press enter here you can get list of records okay so this is the way we can connect uh, MongoDB and using uh, VS Code. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.